Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from a Wild, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, man, let's talk about uh, Dillian White making excuses. He basically saying that. Uh, Oh, she can't see, man. These people can't drive, bro. I swear to God. Don't come to Michigan, dude. They can't drive. So I don't know what she doing. She backing in. She backing out, bro. But anyway, man. I'm going to stay parked here to, to this lady in this F1, this Ram 1500 more because I don't trust women driving. Two things I don't trust women with is big ass dogs and I don't trust them behind the wheel. Period. But Dillian White making excuses. Klitschko said he might make a comeback. Let's talk about Wilder uh, White because I was going to get into Wilder White, but I just I forgot about him on the live stream yesterday. So let me uh, cut my teeth into this while I'm going on my uh, moves today, man. I sit down about the rain. But uh, shout out to Ed. I appreciate the donation, man. Man, he definitely get done. She, uh, she, we, pot, we, break, we house breaking her in now. Nah, so, you know, she get three rewards when she used the bathroom outside. Right now, it's 50 50. She, she's smart. Girls catch on faster than the boys, they say. And I think she catching on. Mason caught on fast because he had moms. But, you know, they still getting used to the girl being in the house. So, you know, but uh, before I got a Miles, I, man, we had nothing but girls at the house, bro. So, when Miles came, that's why I got a boy. So, and I was just me, Mason, Miles. So, y'all number the girls now. But nonetheless. Um, so now Dillian White said that he want to rematch, that he was buzzed from the uppercut, because you know that shit didn't even land flush. He was buzzed from the uppercut, but, uh, but, um, he said what really happened was, you know, Fury pushed him and his head bounced off the canvas, and that's why he really was injured. If that's the case, man, Rick and Dow should have never gotten knocked down by Donier. Donair like held and pushed him down. He did hit him, but Donair held him with his arm. So I mean, it is what it is, man. You know, you went. He said the fight was close, and my thing was it wasn't even competitive. From my vantage point, it wasn't competitive at all. It, that fight was not competitive. He did not win one second of that fight. He said well, it was close. That shit wasn't no close. You know. You trash. He hurt you in round one with a straight right. Talking about it was close and I want a rematch. Man, you think they're going to give you a rematch after the way you acted? Maybe if you built this fight up a lot better and it got even bigger, maybe they would do an rematch. But you wasn't even, you know, you wasn't even competitive. That's the wild thing about it. You wasn't even competitive. You didn't win nothing. A second, a round, a punch. You know, you wasn't even competitive. So, miss me with the excuse making, bro. You wasn't even competitive. You wasn't even in. <laughs> so, yeah, you can you can miss me with that. So, you know, always going to be some excuses, dude. You were trash. So, that's the reason I cooked on him yesterday. That's the reason why, you know, he never went to world level for real. He never really left uh, Europe. That's why. Because he know he trash. You know, he know he garbage. He garbage. He ain't garbage. He garbage. It's a difference. Garbage is work. So, I mean, like I said before, you can say whatever you want to say. I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at him for trying to get a rematch. You know, work your way back up the rankings. You got pissed off the WBC. You pissed off the boxing world, you know, and you wasn't even competitive, so it ain't even a call for it, dude. And with all the conspiracy theorists out here in boxing, now I've not heard, I have not even heard a lot of people talk about this fight. Like I said, I've been busy with the new puppy during the uh, week, so you know. But I heard a lot of people talk about this fight. But dude, you trash. I ain't heard nobody say, "Well, we know I changed." It. Nobody was like, "Well, you know, white was, you know, white this that, white this that." Nobody. Nobody. Oh, why you got a raw deal? Nobody, bro. Someone was a close fight. You trying to get another check. And I ain't mad at him, dog, but it's a wrap. 
you are not a world champion, world level contender. You are a Euro bum, sir. And my Nestor gives voice. You are a Euro bum. But, you know, keep moving on. People talking about well, who win, white or white, or, uh, white or white. If you can still have to ask that question, bro, your boxing opinion should be revoked. Not just the heavyweight. Your boxing opinion should be revoked. Just say, oh, I like Dillian White better than Wilder. Just, like, lay it down like that. I respect that. They say, well, I'm a fanboy. I'm a novice. And, you know, I, you know why? You know, that's why. And I will gladly break it down for, for you. And somebody said, well, why Crawford, you know, why you think Crawford would be Spence? I can gladly break that down to you. Everybody can't. Oh, he bigger. Very vague. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Well, why you thought Joshua Wilder beat Joshua? I can break that down. Whatever question you got, trust you retain to the relevance of boxing today, I can break that down. And I got a little bit of historian now because I used to go back and watch all the fighters. It's been a while, but I used to be man, I used to be in the I used to be in the library dude in college watching all these fighters when I'm done with, when I was done with my work. From Salvador Sanchez to the Henry Arms or whatever, you know. But at the same time, that dude can't fade Wilder. Like if that uh, that little uppercut great it hurt you, man, and he just made too many fundamental mistakes to be Wilder. And Wilder don't have to be technical and fundamental because he's so athletic in his size. His size. So he, he can get away with stuff that, that other guys can't get away with. That's just what it is. He's so explosive. That's where his power comes from. Him and Crawford like the same type of like uh puncher to me. Not not as far as power or or whatever. Not like this is like where how they generate it. They generate their power from that torso. It's the torque. You know, I'm not saying Crawford the punches. This is how they generate power from the torque, bro. They 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 torque fighters. They got like that ratchet wrench. They go, you know what I'm saying, like that. So yeah, so yeah. About wherever I left off at the running store, wherever I left off at, man. You know, him and Crawford are got that same type of torque, type of power. Kind of like a ratchet wrench. How they how they how they how they you know generate their power, but. Like I said before, man, Dillian White don't have, he don't have no skills neither, bro. I think Wilder, especially when he uses jab, is more skilled than uh, Dillian White. Unpopular opinion. White ain't got zero skills, man. If you look at it, bro, he square up. He square up just like Wilder, but Wilder, like, Wilder don't even be as square as he do. He got no, he, man, even when he threw a body punch, dude, this dude reaching, he, he definitely, he looked like a damn southpaw when he orthodox. So, I mean, we can say what we want to say, but dealing, Wilder is a world level fighter. Say what you want to say, he's a world level fighter. You know, you know, Dillian White ain't. AJ is a world level fighter. Uzi is a world level fighter. Andrew Ruiz is a world level fighter. Dillian White just not. He not, bro. And I respect the hustle and I respect the grit and I respect the determination to not get knocked out and keep coming back to getting checks. But he's just not an elite fighter, bro. He didn't deserve that title shot. He didn't want to get in the ring with Dominic Brazil or Luis Ortiz, but he had a lot to say about Luis Ortiz, but never wanted to fight him. You know? And they criticize Ortiz, or he ain't that good. They diminish him because of Wilder. That's why they. That's why the majority of people who diminish Luis Ortiz, they diminish him based on Wilder. That's what it's, it's about. It's about diminishing Wilder and propping up Anthony Joshua wins and other fight. Man, and Anthony Joshua wins ain't really shit. He beat Pavekin. Wow. Was it like the perfect in that for Vladimir Klitschko? He beat Klitschko. Was it the Klitschko? Wasn't it the Klitschko? I think he was on an 18-month layoff that Tyson Fury beat. Come on. He beat, he fought Uzi yet, but he lost. You know what I'm saying? And if, if it ain't AJ Wilder, Uzi, Fury right now fighting each other, then, you know, I don't want to hear about it. They are the elites of the elites. They are the elites of the elites. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. Like it or not. 
But, you know, it is what it is. So, basically, you know, but asking that question is dumb. The only thing we know about White, he will bounce back. Uh, you know, he will bounce back and come get some checks. But, you know, Vladimir Klitschko said he think, you know, if this Ukraine, the Ukraine war is over with, he thinks he might, you know, come back and try to break, uh, try to break uh, George Foreman's record. Uh, try, I think being the oldest heavyweight to win a title, I believe that's what the record is. I could be wrong. Um, and like I said before, of course it's enticing for him. The old girl, you know, had the baby and left him, you know, used him, and no, they wasn't married, right? Then, on top of all of that, you know, he was in an era that just didn't have the, uh, that didn't have the names that these dudes had. These dudes have the names because they can walk and chew bubble gum. The average fighter that he was fighting, dude, was like Dillian White. <laughs> You know, like, you know, just saying. Now with some Sam Peters in there and, you know what I'm saying, a few other guys in there, man, Pavekin, and it's the way he he fought, you know, he had all the power, but the way he fought, he fought scary. And that's why a lot of Americans didn't like Vladimir Klitschko, and that's why a lot of Americans never liked Lennox Lewis. That's why the UK and Canada don't really, or Jamaica don't really claim him. You know? That's why. Born. But, you know, if he come back, man, hey, it is what it is. Will he fight Usyk to win the title? Will he, you know, wait to, if Usyk got all the titles, will Usyk drop a belt and he will fight Wilder for a title? Or, you know, would they rematch Tyson Fury or offer him a ton, shit ton of money? Hey, you never fucking know. But I ain't mad at it, dude. You know, them Klitschko brothers still look in good shape. And I and I supported them through the years, still. I still watch their fights. You know, I still watch all state fights no matter, you know, what people had to say or didn't have to say about them. But, you know, he said he's coming back. He's coming back. So, you know, I wish him nothing but the best. But, um, yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think. Uh, check out the Heavyweight and Box News playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And that subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Appreciate your chance. Get notifications. We go live. Drop the video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo. CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Uh, appreciate the love and support. Uh, also, hit the link tree link in the description. You'll find me everywhere. On Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Spotify, Anchor, Twitch, all that stuff. So appreciate it. Let me know in the comment section, peace.